Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase the PHP memory limit for WordPress. This video was inspired by a blog post by Bhagwan Park, who agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, available at the URL shown here. WordPress uses a certain amount of memory on your server. Because WordPress is so common, most shared web hosting accounts, as well as dedicated hosting accounts, are optimized to be able to run WordPress with no problem. However, if you have a large number of plugins, or you need to upload large files to WordPress, there may be times when you need to increase the amount of memory that WordPress can use. Before I show you how to increase the amount of memory that WordPress can use, I'll show you how to find out how much memory WordPress currently is able to use. To find this out, you'll need an FTP client, such as FileZilla. You can set up a new host in FileZilla and then connect to it with the credentials you'll get from your hosting company. Inside of your FTP client, navigate to your web folder and then into WP Includes. Locate the file named Default Constants and open that in the text editor. Inside of defaultconstants.php, locate the line with WP memory limit on it. The one above it is for if you're using WordPress multi-site. If you're just using the regular version of WordPress, look for WP memory limit underneath the else. 40 megabytes is the current amount of allocated memory. To increase that, go to the root of your website, then locate the file called wpconfig.php. Open up that file in a text editor, and then look for the memory limit code. If you don't have a memory limit line in your file, type in define, followed by parentheses, wp underscore memory underscore limit. And notice that this is all in caps, comma, and then the new memory limit in quotes. We'll change it to 96 megabytes. And then end the line with a semicolon. Save this file and then re-upload to your server. Now you've successfully changed the amount of memory that WordPress can use. I hope you found this video informative. Thanks again to Bhagwad for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here and for other articles related to web hosting and WordPress.